Hi. Welcome to the first episode of The Kitchen Sink. What is The Kitchen Sink, you might ask? My new weekly vlog. Who am I, you might ask? I'm Eric J. Barkman, an amateur writer from Manitoba, Canada. Why am I doing a vlog? Well, honestly, because I feel like it. I want to start putting videos up on YouTube so I can, you know, get a better feel for how it all works before I start, you know, working on some of my some of my other series that I have planned or whatever. I figure a vlog is something fairly simple. It's a good way to learn how to do stuff or whatever. As for other series that I have planned to put up on this channel, a couple of ones I'm working on. Kind of my top priority is a series called ESS. It's about a top secret organization. I won't really go into too much details as at the start of the series it's going to be more from a outsider perspective. So obviously I don't want to spoil things. That's probably still a long ways away though. I would be surprised if that's started by or started going online by even the end of the year, as I'm still in the early writing phases. Another series I'm planning on doing is something called Seconds. That'll probably be a lot sooner, as it'll have a lot. It at least at first, it'll be a lot easier at the beginning. Although, who knows how complicated it'll get as it goes on. That, there's actually very little I can share about that at this point, though. In addition to those series, which are fiction series, I also have a few ideas for series where I talk about fiction. For instance, something that I find very interesting is time travel in fiction and, you know, how it works. So I'm thinking of doing series on here where, you know, I explain how time travel works in, like, something like, say, Back to the Future or The Terminator. Or Doctor Who. Probably not Doctor Who. That's fairly complicated. I'm also not very far in Doctor Who. But, yeah. Another thing is even just, not even time travel, but just timelines, you know. Something like, say, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Where, how exactly do the events of Iron Man 2 and Thor and Incredible Hulk fit together? Because they all take place within, you know, a relatively close period of time and there's a lot of overlap so so those are some ideas I have so you have any other suggestions hmm. actually another idea something like ooh, collector's corner that would be a good title even something where like guys if say you're wanting to collect something like Atomic Robo, you know, listing, you know, helping out with listing all, you know, the comics, the uh, other merchandise like t-shirts and statuettes and uh, the iPhone games and such, apps. Yeah. So, if you're wanting to, you know, keep following me on here. Just hit the subscribe button below and like this video if you like it. You can try disliking it if you dislike it, but I don't think YouTube has a dislike button the last I checked. Yes, it does. I'm thinking of Facebook here. Yeah, so like it if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe, whatever. And yeah. Well, before you go, why don't you go check out uh, Geek and Sundry? There should be, there's a link below. It's an awesome channel made by the brilliant and talented Felicia Day. Has various geek stuff like tabletop, a series well about tabletop, where Will Wheaton gets some of his friends together and plays tabletop games. 
you have the guild, Felicia Day series about a group of gamers. And you know, Geek and Sundry has almost done their first year and you know, it's over there. Check it out if you're not already. Subscribe. Yeah. Have fun. See ya.